Hi there, welcome back. And today we're in the middle of North Yorkshire, but can you guess where? Here's a few clues for you. It's the site where a 90s TV show that ran for quite a number of years was filmed. No? Um, next clue. Bill Maynard was one of the people who played in this TV series. Final clue. A medical term is used as the title. Welcome to the village of Gothland, the place where Heartbeat was filmed and some of Harry Potter. Although in the UK, the village is more recognisable for Heartbeat, which ran from 1992 right through to 2010. Every Sunday night, you tune in to watch what had been happening in the village, the local pub, the police. I'll just point this out as we're walking through the village. The car park is £4, whether you spend half an hour or a full day there. To be honest, you'd be lucky if you wanted to spend more than a couple of hours in Gothland. It's a nice place but it's not the sort of thing that's got a great deal to see. Now you'll recognise a couple of these shops that we're looking at now from the t series of Heartbeat, which, as I say, it's only 12, 13 years ago, such longer maybe that they actually finished recording here. There you can see a picture of uh, some of the characters. Bill Maynard at the top there. Also, Harry Potter was filmed here. The scene where they're at the station, which we'll come to at the end of the video, and you can have a look at that. But Gothland has actually been around since Norman times. It wasn't actually mentioned in the Doomsday Book, but purely because of its location, it's one of those sorts of places that, unless you know it's there, you'll miss it. And if you've been to Whitby, you've maybe driven past a signpost for it, but you wouldn't have realised this little village is there. One of the most unusual things about when you do visit is the fact that sheep are just allowed to wander anywhere around here. Which, when we went there, was quite a messy problem, as you can imagine. As you actually enter the village of Gothland, you'll see sheep just walking across the road, sitting in the middle of the road, and you've got to drive around them. Aidensfield was the name of the village in the TV series of Heartbeat. And that's why you see quite a few of the shops referring to it. The one thing you can say about Gothland, it's a very relaxing place. Your typical English village where nothing really seems to happen. If you enjoy this type of video, why not hit that big thumb and give us a like? And I'd love you to subscribe, then you can see other videos that we produce when they come out. And it costs you nothing to do so as well. The garage over there that you can see is set up exactly as it was for the TV series, Heartbeat. Actually inside is more of a touristy place to have a look around and buy your fridge magnets, your postcards sort of thing. In a minute we're going to come to the train station, but I want to tell you a bit more about Gothland itself, because Gothland's actually from Norman times. 
That makes the village over a thousand years old. It's developed as a farming area after the abolition of the abbey in Whitby. And in the 1800s, it was known for its spa waters, which came from uh, just nearby here. But things move on. And eventually, trains came through. In about 1835, the first trains came through Gothland. And what you're going to see now, when we get to the station itself, will remind you of Harry Potter. Because when they arrived on the train station, this is where it was. You can actually ride on a steam train from this station. It's not part of the major rail network anymore, but they have steam trains going backwards and forwards. But the station is set up like it would have been 80 plus years ago. So 1920s, 1940s, that sort of era. Imagine them all getting off for Hogwarts here, walking down the sidings with Hagrid there guiding them on. Gothland is only a few miles away from Whitby but being situated where it is it's hidden from the whole area and as I say if you don't notice the sign to turn off it's too easy to just drive straight past and miss all this wonderful place sure you'll see this station in films to come because of the fact it's perfect for filming you've got the steam trains come through on a regular basis the whole station is set up just as like you'd have expected in the 1930s 40s The trains run regularly throughout the day. You can get on here and get almost all the way, I believe, to Whitby. I hope you've enjoyed our little trip to Heartbeat Country and Gothland, where it was all filmed. Lovely little village in the middle of nowhere. The sheep run free. And a unique place that if you've gone to Whitby, you may have missed. So, have a watch of this video. You might enjoy that as well. Speak to you on the next one.